So, it's uh, the finals. It's time to face some of the gym leaders. I don't think I'm going to face all of them, but I'm going to face a certain few. So here's the team right now. We're going to leave with Thievel. I don't know who we're going to be up against. Oh, let me save. Haha, -ha, that would be the right idea. All right, well, let's go out to the pitch. No, no reason to, to delay any longer. Okay, so we just fought BD in the previous episode. Completely wiped him with Santa Scorch. And now who are we up against next? The time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are the trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger David. His opponent is the Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. I knew it would be Nessa. I felt like it was going to be her. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm, hello. I'll look at her, that. <laughs> look at that face. I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Holbury Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. You know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to the sea and beyond the horizon. All right. Last time I just wiped you with, uh, who was it again? Flashback to the gym battle. All right, we're up against Nessa. Yet again. The rematch of the century, but this time she's probably not going to be holding back. Oh god, Goldie spawn. Okay. So I'm a little nervous on this one. Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. I think if I... Let's foul play. I'm not going to bother... Oh, does that make me flinch? Oh man, that's right, it's a bug type. Made a mistake already. Already. Not off to a great start. Okay. Santa Scorch, while would be super effective, it's going to be weak to his water. So we're going to do Toxtricity. I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to use Santa Scorch throughout this battle. We could have also gone to Cover Knight for that flying type advantage. What level is 51? Okay. At least they're close to where I am. We're going to do Overdrive. I don't think it has a lot of special defense. Let's find out. There we go, we got it in one hit. Paid her back, we paid her back. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, Nissa. What else you got? Okay. Honestly, Toxtricity is probably my best bet to win this entire thing. So if I could just keep her alive, we're good. How much more attack do I have than a special attack? I got 168 to 145. It's not that far behind. I think Spark still does more damage technically, so we'll do the Spark. Oh no, it's got Drill Run. We avoided, thank God. That was four times effective. Oh my goodness. It's because of that miss. We're still in the game. We almost made a huge mistake there. Oh, Seeking. What could this do? Well, she probably didn't want to send this out. So, I guess that means she's out of Pokemon to go against Toxtricity. Besides Dreadnought, because they always save their Ace for last. Pelipper. Oh, I'm sorry, Nessa. I guess it was just like a rerun. Oh, but you do set up the rain. Oh, no. That's... That could... That could be bad. Her Dreadnought... It's going to hurt a little bit more. Alright, Nessa, let's see it. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. We're going to max lightning with physical attack. Yeah. Here we go. Ugh.
Blood the stadium and make it our ocean. Dreadnought. Time to Gigantamax. Gigantamax. <laughs> so cool. Let's see if you live in one hit. You barely do. Oh my goodness. Was it because of sturdy or because I just didn't do enough damage? Well, you get a chance to retaliate. Make it worth it. This is a little gift from us. I hope you can take it. I'm sure I... Oh my god. Stone Surge. We do take it. We take it, Nessa. Oh, it sets up a Stealth Rock afterwards, too. That is pretty big. We're going to finish it with Max Lightning, though. Going for the full restore. That's just delaying the inevitable. And just like that, Nessa is down and out from the tournament. I'm so sorry. But I have to win this thing. Nice job, Toxtricity. <laughs> She's so cute. You had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder you won. And the winner is David! He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you were. Oh, was she? Me? <laughs> I wish I had paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Gallery got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. These are the results of the first round. David winning against Nessa. B, so I'm up against B next, the next waifu. She defeated Gordy, of course, against Rock. Piers defeated Kabu, and Rayhan defeats Milo. Or Milo. Okay. So it's gonna be, I guess, if I had to guess, it's gonna be me versus B, and then me versus Rayhan. I don't know if Piers will make it. To, I don't know. Piers could surprise me. I don't want to count him out just yet. I'm, I'm cheering for Piers, but I feel like Rayhan will probably win. Okay, so knowing that B is our next opponent, Thievul will not be a great lead for those fighting types. We'll have Corviknight set up for us. Ladies and gentlemen, we are already at the second match of the finals. One of the four remaining challengers, which two will be left for the last match. If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprising during the finals here at this year's Champion Cup, as the former gym challenger Beatty stormed to the stage, but David was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. On the other side, we have the Galar Karate Prodigy. Let's hear it for the gym leader B, everybody! I promise you, my attacks will shake your very soul this time. May the best trainer win. Alright, B. Let's see what you got this time. Maybe, maybe she's a lot more fierce. Paulucha's not a bad start. You might have one win on me, but this is where I show you what I really do when I'm serious. We're gonna start with a drill pack. We have no way to set up anyways. Ooh, starting with a high jump kick. That's neutral damage. Luckily for you, it landed. Otherwise, that would have done a lot more damage to you. She must be serious and wanting to win. But I guess she had no choice there. Might as well go big or get knocked out. And she was definitely going to be knocked out. Phalanx. Oh, these guys. Yes. Um, can I just drill pick her entire team? Oh, 
Oh, I almost could. Rock Doom. Well, we are Steel type. A full restore. Again, delaying the inevitable. Maybe she's just trying to drain my Polka power. I didn't want to say drain my PP. But I said it anyways. There goes two. And Teleon hitting 60. He's almost up there. Oh, I love this thing. Grab a lot. We're gonna just keep drill pecking. So she's got five Pokemon. Oh, almost. Oh, we avoided. Unfortunately. You won't be able to survive that. Oh, Santa Scorch is almost 60. Surfetched. Uh, this isn't her ace, is it? She's got one more. Yeah, she's got one more. Brick break. Honestly, I should probably... Oh, that's right. We've got the berry. That came in handy. It sure did. And then we'll drill back. Please tell me you heal. Oh, but either way, you still go first because of the speed drop. So who is your ace again? I'm trying to remember. Oh, my champ. Lunge? We're still learning moves this late in the game? The user makes a lunge at the target, attacking with a full force. It also lowers the attack stat. I like Leech Life better though. Why would I want to learn Lunch? It's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. Well, don't worry, I'm still on my first Pokemon. As much as I'd like to Dynamax and then attack the Machamp, I know I'm not gonna be able to win this, so I'm gonna Brave Bird. Ah, uh, fine then, let's destroy everything. It's time for an honorable Gigantamax. I like the... Oh, he's going for a Max Flare. That's enough. Yeah. That's why I didn't Dynamax. Good job, Corviknight. Well, with the sun up, there's only one reasonable switch in to take advantage of this. And that's Senta Scorch. I feel like I Dynamax her a lot. And it's also bug, so I believe it resists fighting. Unless it's the other way around. Oh well, either way we're doing a fire type move. Alright, go with the max flare. With the sun boost, that's a one-hit KO, right? Uh, almost. About 60%. Max Chi Strike. This isn't gonna hurt, is it? Oh god. No, it didn't hurt. Max Flare to finish it off, and that is B. We are making it to the semi-finals. Or finals. Whoever wins the next match is going up against Leon. That much I know.
Your strength nearly made me want to turn and run to my bare feet. B has been defeated. Challenger David has shown his skill. Thank you for the wonderful match. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and so refreshed. In a way, I guess you could say it was the best sort of match anyone can ever hope for. I hope that you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will begin in no time, so stay in those seats, folks. These are the results of the second round. Whoa, contenders! Rayhan gloriously defeated contender, contender peers. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Hey guys. Sorry, David. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Rayhan. You look so sloppy out there that people are gonna think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Rayhan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, David. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Raihan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to the right to a right good battle. Raihan, huh? So he's gonna lead with his if it's another double team, I mean excuse me, double battle. Uh, we'll want Inteleon to lead with uh, not Senta Scorch, maybe Flapple. He does have the well. Flapple will be used. No, we'll put Flapple in second. Yes, we will use Flapple. Corviknight, do I have another berry for you? Well, any one works. You can use an up e Papa berry as well. Because you have neutral nature, so none of them will make you confused. Alright, the final battle against Raihan, our rematch, already so soon. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star, Challenger David? Or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival? The Tamer of Dragons, Raihan. You really are something else, kid. You've made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival and he chose you, so I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've worked my whole team and now we're all geared up for a one-on-one -on -one battle. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Ray Han you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Alright, so it is sing single battles this time. Okay, this one I'm a little nervous about. Starting with a Torkoal. Are we setting up a sunny day? By the way, Inteleon's a great start for me anyways. The Draught will suck though. Water moves will not be as effective. That's Draught! It gets sunlight burning real harsh. Well, I'm glad that they're very creative in having a, uh, a gym leader be a weather user. That's new. Still, even with the sun up, we get a headshot. Critical, we actually do get a headshot with a critical hit. Any critical hit with a sniper is a headshot. Going out with Gujra already. Probably the best swap pin he has. Then we'll Icy Wind. It won't do as much, I don't think, in the sun. Oh, you avoided the attack? Oh, okay, thanks for the Rain Dance. That is a lot better. Here it comes, the rain! Feel its cold dampness soak into your body. <laughs> You've also benefited me, don't, don't forget that. So once I get rid of your Gudra here, all I gotta do is snipe everybody else in your team. Uh oh, that's not good. I didn't think of that. We're living on 28, baby. Now we're swapping. Inteleon's still gonna be useful. Someone that can take a thunder. 
Flapple. This is your time. You can easily, easily take this. And then we'll go for the Dragon Rush. Do not miss. There we go. One hit KO. People hitting 60. Almost time for retirement. Get it? Because I get age. Turtonator. That's not. That's not gonna help. That's not gonna help. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Now he could. He's probably gonna set up draw or sunny day again. He loves his weather moves. Let's uh, dragon rush. Let's see what happens. We oh, we missed. He did set up the sunny day as well. Okay, this next fire type move is probably gonna hurt. Here you go. Have a taste of sunny day. Have you got a plan to counter it? Yeah. I counter it by actually using it against you. We'll use Santa Scorch. Hopefully, you don't have a ground type move. Oh, what is that? A shell trap? We're. Do we coil? We'll coil up. You do have a still type Pokemon, don't you? I don't want to touch that shield trap. I don't know what that does. Does that burn me? That did a good amount of damage. Not too crazy though. We'll just crunch because that's effective. Oh no, you did the... I don't know what that does. We'll find out, I guess. Shell trap. Does that hurt me? Lowered defense. Good. Which means the next one will kill, knock you out. Not kill. Nope. Oh no, here it is, here it is. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to do it again though, because we will totally knock you out. My one counter to his ace is already down low on health. And there goes the sun when I needed it the most. Oh, Flygon, of course. Well, he's totally gonna go for uh, an Earthquake. Uh, we'll swap to Corviknight, maybe? I'm trying to think if that's the best move. Or Flapple. Mm, no, we'll do Corviknight. Yeah. Avoid the Earth move. And then hit him with the Drill Pack, probably. While also applying pressure. Let me see. Does drill pick? Steel wing does less, so only ever do steel wing if we need to. Maybe brave bird. Uh, I think brave bird's the better choice. Oh, of course. Oh, great! And he did put sets it up exactly before his Pokemon comes in. His next ace. Let the winds blow! Stream 4, Sandstorm! And then with the Drill Pack. Luckily we're Steel, so we won't take residual damage. Alright. I'm kind of nervous about this next one. You do realize I'm the great Rayhan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon, so I'll beat you first. I'm just gonna have to fight. Mm, nothing's very effective. Well, Brave Bird. Bring the store! My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying!
Rose Tower 2. Oh god. That's new. Oh my goodness. That's alright, we can we can drain out his his Dynamax. Well, let's go for a jewel pack. We don't want to hurt ourselves that much. Max Knuckle? Are you sure that's a good idea? That's two. And we eat, eat the berry. Back to green, please. Yeah. Ooh, Corviknight might be able to take this guy on, despite having the height disadvantage. Another Max Knuckle. Oh, you were taking that really well, Corviknight. I'm really proud of you. Wow. Oh, that was a crit as well. No wonder why I did so much damage. He also got the attack buff. There goes the Sandstorm, and that was his last move, I believe. Didn't get to do much with that. Now, the question is, do I Dynamax? We're gonna swap. Now that we're safe, let's do Thievel. Or Flapple. No, Flapple's a good move in. Let's switch in, too. With Dragon Rush. No. Thievel. Oh man, are you kidding me? I didn't even see that. Okay. Mmm. Inteleon, probably. We'll do Inteleon. Alright, Rayhan. Back to the start. We're gonna Dynamax Geyser. The stronger one. There we go! We should be faster. We must be faster. Here we go. That's gotta be a KO. Say goodbye. And here's the rain. So far we've been able to win without using an item in the bag. That's exactly what I'm going for. Nice job, Inteleon. Lost yet again. Losing in the finals is pretty rough. But I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. Challenger David sees his victory! My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagine. I'm pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you'd ever dream. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum, prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 13, Challenger David has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. This is the result of the final round. We did it. We made it. Do we fight him now? Oh, hey. Alright! The big moment finally here, hey? I came to cheer you on, you know. Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Right. You reckon I should cheer for David too, don't what? Don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did just start this thing out together, way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Thanks, guys. Oh, man. I don't know who or what Lee would lead with. I 
I do know I want Antillion to fight his Charizard though. We're gonna save that for last. We'll put her in the him in the bottom. He may also have the Grookey form, so we'll keep Senta Scorch for that. Alright, buddy. Alright. Here we go. The match we've been looking forward to since the beginning of the game. After all this time, we finally face the man himself. The so-called undefeated champion. The tents still air on the pitch. And the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose after all. I can fill you with fear no it it can fill you with fear knowing that. But I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gala Region Champion, Leon! Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Alright, Leon. Wait! Hold on! Hey, look at the monitor! What is that on the big screen? Oh, are we gonna be interrupted? Hello there, Leon and David. Just letting you know... Hmm? I think it's time I brought up about the darkest day, for the sake of the gala's future, of course. Oh, okay. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Lee, David! That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to see what's going on. I'm the champion, I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you got lost along the way? I want to help my brother, David. I've got to go. But I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help I, could I ever be? Just try. But what? What can I even do? Hold the phone. The German was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing that where the sky went all dark once ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean he's bringing that about? And where did we even hear that name? And who am I? And who are you? Um... Let me think. Motostoke, right? No. That statue of the hero. Some, uh, Sonya said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the Darkest Day with the Sword and Shield Pokemon. Sonya thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere though, right? We should try to find them, but where to start looking? In the Slumbering Wild. That's it! I'm sure it's gotta be the Slumbering Wild. That illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to Slumbering Wilds. For lucky, we'll find something that can help. 